the Yankees right-hander with Meredith and the media. Hey, Jameson, Aaron Judge mentioned that you got the belt today, player of the game, for getting your first win in two years. Is this one more meaningful for you, given the journey back? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it, one, it took me a little longer than I would have liked to get that first one here, so that makes it meaningful, I guess, to, to be on the board and, and get that out of the way. But, yeah, I mean, I think it was about two years ago from the day that I hurt my elbow for the second time, and, <clears throat> you know, there were times where I wasn't 100% sure whether I'd ever be back in a big league uniform, and uh, let alone to be on a team like the Yankees and, and to contribute to, to wins throughout the year. So it's definitely meaningful. There's a lot of people that played part in it to, to get me back to this point. Um, and now I'm looking forward to just putting my head down and knocking out more starts. Aaron Boone called your outing another step in the right direction. How would you evaluate your outing and really the start to the year? Yeah, I thought um, today was definitely a step in the right direction. I thought there were a few situations with like two strikes where in the past I've given up a lot of two strike damage this year. It's no secret. I thought, you know, my awareness to the situation was a little better. Um, you know, I slowed it down and I was aware that, hey, this is one of those situations where I need to make a pitch. Um, or even like the three, two walk there in the fifth inning, uh, to bring up Miggy, you know, I w I don't want to walk anybody, but, um, I'd rather that situation take part than to throw a cookie and give up runs. So I thought the awareness to, to the situations today were, it was a lot better. Um, and I think to start the year, some ups some downs, a lot of good. I've learned a lot. Um, and from every down outing that I've had, I've, I've taken something away, which whether it's the shape of the curveball, getting the fastball to the top of the zone, uh, being competitive with two strikes and not giving in. You mentioned that fifth inning. How much of a grind was that fifth inning? And ultimately, how were you able to bear down and get one of the best hitters in baseball to strike yeah. out to end the inning? Yeah, yeah, that inning, um, you know, started to started to get some traffic on base there. Uh, I felt like I still made a lot of really good pitches throughout the inning. Uh, that's kind of what I told myself is let's just slow this down. Let's make one pitch at a time. Um, and, yeah, I mean, Miggy's one of the best hitters of our generation, if not the best. And, you know, no matter what stage of his career he's at, I have a ton of respect for a guy like that standing in the box. So um, that made that moment that much bigger to be able to get him there because he's come up big in a lot of, a lot of spots over the years. So um, that was a good challenge for me.